What is up everybody, thank you for joining me, this is Jay Duma, aka Fluent, bringing you another Let's Play. We're playing the brand new release game, Falseal Arbiter's Mark. This is a game that's like Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, it's a turn-based strategy RPG, lots of cool stuff going on. So we are going to play it. And uh, get into it. So let's go. I'm playing with my Steam controller. We're going to play on Veteran, which sets the default for everything. You can change the difficulty. Now I'll shut up. In the dark days of centuries past, another worldly beast known as the Ma appeared in Diora, leaving ruin in its wake. In this time of need, seven great heroes rose against the threat. The battle was fierce, but the heroes prevailed, and the beast was vanquished. In slaying the beast, the heroes gained the power of immortality. They formed the Council of Immortals to rule over the land and enforce order to prevent such a catastrophe from ever happening again. But powerful as the immortals may be, they are few. Thus, they created the Order of Arbiters to enforce their will and protect the land. As agents of the immortals, Arbiters wield absolute authority. They are judge, jury, and executioner. But in time, the Order of Arbiters has grown complacent and corrupted. Could a threat as dire as the ancient beast itself be looming over Tiora? Tune in next time and find out. Interesting. Love the beautiful hand-drawn graphics. It's a really pretty game. Good work, Anadine. You handled yourself well. Thanks, Captain. I don't feel I actually did all that much, though. Violent confrontation isn't always necessary or desirable. Negotiation is an equally important skill for an Arbiter. Of course, you're right, Captain. Are you sure Reiner knew the time we agreed to meet, Captain? Yes, he knows, but knowing Reiner, he's probably... Did you hear that? I didn't. Help, please, anyone! Sounds like it came from the alley just ahead. Let's go. Ooh, damn, bro. What is the meaning of this, sir? Why on earth would you strike down an unarmed man? Explain yourself. Pesky witnesses. What a bother. You, hireling, earn your coin for once and dispatch these interlopers. Glee. Defeat Alphonse. Alright, so in deployment, you decide which allies you want to join the battle. You can place characters with the glowing cyan tiles until the unit limit has been reached. Sometimes specific characters will automatically join the battle and cannot be removed. At all times, the bottom right of the screen contains a list of buttons you can currently use. And most times in the game, you can press the help button to enter the help screen where you can get information about relevant things shown on the screen. Lastly, you can disable these tutorials and the options. Alright, so we're going to put Virgil the Wizard here. And as you see in the top left, it says 3 out of 3 units placed. So we can only use 3. We have another one, Lana. But, uh... Let's start. Begin. By lawful decree of the Arbiters, I ordered you to lay down your weapons and surrender. Now. You are an Arbiter? This is more tiresome than I thought. Hireling, exterminate these pests for me and you receive a tidy bonus. At once, Lord Alphonse. As you wish. Anadine, it looks as though you're about to face your first real battle. Yes, I see. I'm ready, Captain. I'm sure you are, but why don't we quickly review the basics, just to be safe. 
Alright, combat's turn-based. Every unit gets an individual turn where they can move and or take an action in any order. You can see the global turn order at the top of the screen. A unit can move up to a maximum amount of tiles every turn, shown by their movement range. That movement is restricted by terrain. Units can only reach tiles that are within their vertical movement range. The height of a tile is shown in the top left corner of the screen. It's 2H. Unit can take a single action every turn. The list of their possible actions will be shown every turn for you to choose from. Actions include everything that isn't your movement, such as attacking, using an ability, opening a chest, etc. Now then, let's deal with this scum. Alright, so let's get into it. She has Warcraft, she has Field Aid, and Forceful Strike, which pushes the target by one tile and attacks two targets. And then at the end of your turn, you get to select which way your character is facing. Try not to show your back to enemies as they deal more damage from the sides and the back. friendly fire, but this is going to attack two people, so why not? I enough! I yield! A wise choice, if a bit late in the coming. Victory. So we got a Kyrie Never Falls bonus for ability points. Two snake bite oils and some gold pieces. Ladies, there you are. What's this? You didn't tell me you were going to a party. Reiner, at last. Weren't we supposed to meet an hour ago? We could have used your help with these thugs. No matter, this gentleman kept us company and now we'll show our gratitude by providing him with a nice comfy cell. You cannot be serious. Do you not know who I am? I am a lord, Lord Alphonse to be precise. As a nobleman of the realm, I command you to release me. Slaying an unarmed man, attempting to eliminate the witnesses to your foul crime, and now resisting lawful arrest. There are limits to the privileges, privileges of nobility, as you are about to learn. Hmm, an arbiter is a, and a simpleton, I see. Very well, let us proceed with this farce if we must. Bring me to the Arbiter's Chapter House for my trial. Hmm. Are you suddenly struck dumb as well as simple? The Knight's Chill does not agree with me. Make haste and escort me to the Chapter House, wench. Reiner, I've decided to make a small detour to a luster. We will personally deliver this nobleman to the main Chapter House. Clever. I wonder how much sway the little lordling, lordling has in a luster. Very little, I suspect. Gather our people and make everything ready. We move at first light. On it. Now to ensure you're comfortable for the trip. Outrageous. Simply outrageous. Simmer down or I'll pull out a gag next. No one bothers washing the gags in between prisoners, mind you. <laughs> Very well. What about the other one, Captain? Just a henchman. We'll drop him off at the local chapter house. No need to cart them both all the way to a luster. And that does it for our first tutorial battle. This tutorial takes place amongst many battles. Let's head for a luster now. I'm sure our eminent guest is eager to get started on his trial. The journey may be treacherous. We should stop at the local guild here in Galee and hire more hands for the road. An extra recruit would go a long way. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to hire a recruit. You can change the visual appearance of units in this section by using the left-right arrows. On any category, you can quickly change its value or select the row. View a list of possible options. So we're going to get a level 2 mercenary for 1000 GP. We have 5600 GP. Going to be a female. 
She looks pretty good. Let's change her portrait to match her picture here. Good one. Lots of portraits. Hmm. All right, so let's do that and change her outfit to that. How about the face? That's a good face. Change the hairstyle to the long. Fan. That would be pretty good. There's a lot of different classes in the game. Go mercenary, scoundrel, mender, wizard. Right now we're gonna go mercenary. Oh, let's change her color too. Not of her hair, but of her outfit. To white. There we are. So that matches the portrait pretty well. Looks pretty good. Boom. Alright, so let's head to a luster. First we have the crossroad. Battle time. Kyrie. Yes, I noticed. What's happening, Captain? Stand back, Anadine. Spotted. Ah, well, you arbiters are as every bit as sharp as they say. But much friendlier. Well met, friend. Uh. If you have business with us, out with it. Otherwise, step aside. Of course, I will make it quick for you. Hand over that nobleman traipsing along at your heels, and everyone else can be on their merry way, safe and sound. What a splendid idea. Quiet. Safety and soundness first, exactly my own philosophy. But first, tell me, what is it? Just what is it you want with our bejeweled guest? Funny you should ask. From what I've been hearing lately, I bet you arbiters wouldn't mind a taste of this action yourselves, eh? Alright, here it is. This rich fop will pay us handsomely for his freedom. Hand him over, and 20% of the fee is yours to divide amongst yourselves. No need. No one need ever know an arbiter was involved in our little transaction. I get what I want, you get paid, and your reputation remains as spotless as a luster's peak. Peaks. Win, win, win. Is there a fourth win I'm missing? Well, what do you say? Do we have a deal? I don't know, Kyrie. Only 20%? Captain? Enough. We haven't the time to exchange banter with these fools. As for you lot, attempted bribery, intimidation, interfering in arbiter business, serious crimes, the kinds I should see every one of you decorating the trees, but get out of our way and I'll forget I ever saw your faces. That is my final and only counteroffer, counter -offer. signal that you accept before I change my mind. Tuh, of all the doomy luck, we had to just run into one clean arbiter within a hundred leagues. Jump lively, boys. It looks like we must earn our prize today. No survivors, no witnesses. And here we go. The crossroads battle. Defeat all foes. So now we've got six units we can place. So let's place Virgil. Ray 10. Oh. And Lana, our mender, who's a healer. Alright, let's get it on. 
Reiner. He's a scoundrel. <clears throat> Kennedy, why don't I give you a quick refresher on items? Items don't work as they usually do in most games, so you probably shouldn't skip this tutorial. In combat, any character can use items simply by selecting the items command in their actions list. You will notice items have a count next to them. That count is the maximum amount that can be used in any single battle and is shared across the whole team. At the start of every battle, battle, item counts are automatically refilled to their maximum amount for free, so don't hold back on using them as needed. Which is pretty cool. Kyrie, mark you that sizable trap door. I think they might have reinforcements waiting below. Well spied. If one of us stands directly upon it, that should keep us sealed against any new enemies. Agreed, but we will move quickly if we plan to secure it. They could strike at any moment. The AI is pretty smart in the game, they go after the right people. Kyrie, where's our mender? She better use a potion. Special events that happen during combat will display an event icon in the turn order list at the top of the screen. When the event icon comes to the front of the turn order, the event will trigger. So that's the event of standing on top of this thing. To do dirty hit when it has a chance of blinding. Didn't work. Thirty-one. 
dead. <sighs> Found a snake bite oil. Oh, Reiner goes down. One of your allies has fallen. Fallen, fallen, bleh, fallen allies will be available again next battle, although they have sustained an injury. The injury drop all their stats by 10% until it wears off. It will wear off after they rest for a full battle, meaning they need to remain on the sidelines and can't participate in the battle. Allies can also be revived in combat using spells and items, although they'll still receive an injury at the end of combat regardless and could receive more injuries if they fall again. Please note that Kyrie will not receive an injury if she falls in combat. This used to be an inn, quite a prosperous one if I remember I right. Burned down in a marauder attack last year. And no arbiters nearby to prevent it. You allude to that scoundrel's claim about arbiters taking bribes. Nothing but a desperate attempt to talk their way out of a fight. I don't believe a word of it. And yet here we are, dragging that foppish nobleman around because we can't quite trust the local chapter house. That's a long enough break. We need to keep moving if we're to reach a luster before nightfall. I'll make sure everyone is ready. So we're meeting our heroes of the game. So now we've got an event here. Do you need a breather after that, Anodyne? Hmm, I guess it can't hurt if we're not in a rush. Thanks, Captain. Occasionally a note on the world map will be marked with an event symbol, indicating that an optional character event is available. Select a note and choose event from the menu to view it. Note that some events are time sensitive and may disappear as the story progresses. So let's do the event. That was exhilarating, Captain. But I also feel a bit sick. It will pass. When I was a child, I dreamed of becoming an arbiter like my mother. I also dreamed of fighting alongside her, but never that I would be wearing her armor. The armor you inherited, but the position you earned. Watch this one for me, would you? Yes, Captain. Why would someone with your wealth and privilege stoop to murder? If that man had wronged you, I'm sure the court would be happy to hear your case. The court's manner of dispensing justice is too costly, uh, slow for my taste. I don't understand. Oh, that shocks me to my core. But what did he do to you? Let us just say he strayed from the rut which fate had gouged out for him. I still don't. Just like a pair of little girls I know, he interfered in the business of his betters, and soon, quite soon afterwards, paid the price for it. Perhaps one day you'll explain to me how such a powerful lord came to be prisoner of a pair of little girls. Huh. Alright, so next stop, Illister. But I'm going to save here. Call it an episode. Hope you're enjoying. 
Tune in next time for more Fell Seal, and we'll head to a luster. The mountain peaks, and uh, see what happens next as we deliver this nobleman. So I'll see you then. Peace out, everybody.